The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone. We will be starting the webinar in just a few minutes. Hello everyone, and welcome to the very interesting webinar, Building and Maintaining Important Technology Partnership, held by our SolidCam GmbH manager, Becker Killick. You know, these partnerships are very important for getting qualified leads and recognition in your market. And today we have an opportunity to take an inside look of our German team are doing it to increase their sales. And what we strongly advise you is to act after hearing this webinar and start dedicating time to nurture your own partnerships. Both us and the German team can help you with our experience and knowledge. So with that being said, enjoy the webinar. Here, Becker, you can go ahead. Uh, Becker, we cannot hear you. Okay, go ahead, Becker. Now you are on mute. Yes, thank you. Now you can hear me. You yes. Should unmute me. I cannot. I, I cannot talk. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's me. It's me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Thank you for the nice words, Natalie. Yeah. So, okay, one second, let me put this here and let me maximize this one, okay. So before I start with this webinar, I want to say thank you to all of the people we, who helped me to fill this webinar with information. At first, I want to say thank you to Ken from US. He sent me some information. I put also in some slides here inside and also Gordon from UK. He sent me also some information how he's handling partnerships in UK. So because of that, before I start, thank you to you guys. Yeah. So I called um, the title a little bit less, not so long. So I called only business network. And you see, I will talk about four different points. Yeah. First of all, I want to talk about the technology partners, which we have here in Germany, how we are handling it, what we had done in the past with these technology partners. After that, some few words to know about partnerships. And then I will talk about different levels, what we have here in Germany of partnerships. Okay. And last point, maybe also very important to some of you, how 
how to get new partners, partnerships, yeah? Okay, let's start with the first point, yeah? This page you, see, you saw also in the invitation mail, and which are really all part, not all partners, but most partners with them we are working together in Germany. Yeah, with some of them we are working very closely and with some of them not so close, yeah? But I will explain the next pages um, with them we are working closely and with them not, yeah? On the right side, you see the different um, kind of partners. One is um, machines, machine manufacturers. You can see on the page on the top of them, some of them. Tool manufacturers, controller manufacturers, clamping, tool clamping, and part clamping, and some others, yeah? Let's start with machines. So here you can see some machine manufacturer with them we are working together, or we will start to work because we started with some talks and we will start also a relationship. And um, on the top you see Grobe, Hermley, Hommel, and Eismetall, and later on with some of them we are working also together. Let's start with Hermley. Yeah, for, my, for my opinion, is Hermley our biggest and strongest technology partner? Yeah, because Hermley by themselves have really 33 licenses of SolidCam. Yeah? And if you are looking inside of these licenses, which are uh, 25 licenses are used by application engineers here in Germany. Yeah? An important thing is also we are using one license for research engineering. Means we are really testing our machines with our software. And I know this guy is a good friend of mine, and I sometimes talk with him, and he said to me, really, he only needs SolidCam to make all tests with his machines. He's only working with SolidCam, yeah? And uh, next important thing to know is also we are using uh, six licenses in education. So for this apprenticeship, we are using SolidWorks and SolidCam. And I think most of you know we have one Hermley in our technology center since years, I think around about seven years. In, with that, we are doing our iMachining events, we are testing our software, we have uh, um, events with some customers and, and workshops. So it really helped us a lot to grow in Germany with this um, strategy of having a te technology center. Yeah, because with a technology center, we started to be close to, to, the, to the cutting side, not only software, also praxis. Yeah? And next things are, for example, if Hermley have an open house, we are inviting us to, to their open houses, and we got also machines for exhibitions. The last one I think we had, 2014 AMB, we had a C42, a Milton machine, and we had a really a very good show at AMB. Next important uh, partner of us is Grobe. Yeah? Grobe by themselves have uh, 11 licenses of SolidCam. Yeah? And yeah, it's really good to know because eight licenses we are using for application engineers. So these application engineers are using SolidWorks and SolidCam. And uh, three licenses we are using iMachining for NXCAM because the application engineers, of course, have different uh, softwares with them we are working, also NXCAM, and three of them are also working for, with iMachining for NXCAM. Because I talked with these guys and he, they said to me, we was unsatisfied and unhappy with that, what we had before in NXCAM. And uh, after we have now iMachining for NXCAM, we are really happy with it. I had a lot of talk with them. It's a good solution for them. And also important to know is Grob bought from us six licenses, really, because we are using, as I told you, NXCAM for manufacturing also for web machines. And uh, now, or not now, years ago, we bought six licenses, iMachining for NXCAM to cutting their machines, yeah, to producing their machines. And several times we got Grob machine for exhibitions, yeah, and also, very good thing, what we started years ago is Grob is now also a reseller for SolidCam. And in every Grob machine, which are sold now, yeah, is automatically SolidCam installed in the controller. So in the, if some customer is buying a new Grob machine, automatically SolidCam is installed in the, in the controller with a trial version. 
I mean, it's a 60 days trial version. And if the 60 days is not enough, and if they want to buy after that solid cam, they can buy directly solid cam. It's installed in the controller. Yeah. Next good thing is um, Ice Metal Machines. Yeah, it's also a German machine manufacturer. They have six licenses of solid cam, and they are using it for application. And they have a showroom. In that showroom, also, they are using SolidCam. They have a uh, prospect, they have a brochures of us, they have a roll up, like you can see <laughs> behind of me. Yeah. So the people, if they are working in the showroom, can see, okay, this company is working also with SolidCam. Yeah. And as I think so, most of you know, or some of you know, we have also a technology center in Rosenheim in Bavaria, where we have also Alts Metal Machine. We are also cutting parts, making events, and so on. Yeah. And also, for some exhibitions, we got Alts Metal Machine. Yeah, I, the last one I think it was Euro Mold before it was Emo. We had also a very good show to to cut the parts of the machine and exhibitions. Yeah, and if we have open houses, they are always inviting us. And also, Alts Metal is a solid cam reseller, so we can also if we if they sell a machine to our customers, we can sell also automatically solid cam with the machine. Yeah. Citizen Miano is a very young relationship. Yeah, but it started some months ago, but it grew very fast. Yeah, because most of you know, uh, the focus of our development was to make our mill term better and also Swiss type solution. Yeah, and as I told you. Very young relationship, but now Citizen Miano in Germany have eight licenses of solid cam. We are using it for application and in their showroom. Yeah. And if you joined the last solid cam conference where you saw we had also one citizen Swiss type machine in our technology center. It was a citizen L20. Citizen sold this machine, and now I talked with the manager, we will get a citizen D25. Yeah. And I say to this, it's a next level machine. Yeah, it's a little bit more complicated than the L20. So it will help us also to write the post processor for it. Yeah. And at the last exhibition, AMB, we had uh, two machines in our booth. One was a five axis milling machine, and one was this uh, Citizen L20. Where we cut the whole day parts on this Swiss type machine. Here is important to know not we contacted Citizen, the application engineer from Citizen contacted us. Yeah. And of course, after the contact, we visited uh, we visited their technology center, showed our software. After that, they visited us and we was in talk. And we said to us, we really want to change the, the, to us because we was unsatisfied with the support of the CAM software, which we are used before. Yeah, so we come to the talk and we started with a relationship because our good team in Germany, because of our good support in Germany. Yeah? And of course, our good software. Yeah, we don't have to talk about our good software. Next is Hommel. Hommel is a reseller for Okuma and Crazy Machines in Germany. Yeah, they have now seven licenses of SolidCam and we're using it for application and showroom. But, okay, I want to tell something. I don't want to make now a advertisement what we are doing in Germany and with them we are working together. Of course, it's a little bit advertising because it was a lot of work to build with uh, relationships, but it's more for you to have a view, okay, to see with them we are working closer, with them we are working not so close, to have a feeling yeah, to, with which companies we are working good in Germany. So this will, this will help you to take the contact in your country with these companies. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we have also one machine from home in our technology center. Our third technology center is in Seoul in East, uh, East Germany. We have a five axis milling machine and we are doing also the same events, cuttings and so on. And if Homo have an open house, of course, we are inviting us. We are standing beside of the machine with a laptop showing our software. We have a roll up there, brochures and so on. And we got also sometimes a machine for exhibitions. Yeah, we get Okuma machines. Yeah, mostly Okuma machines and also Quasar machines to cut parts during the exhibition. 
Next is Fanuc. Also an interesting thing in Fanuc is uh, Fanuc have 16 licenses of SolidCam. Eight licenses we are using for application and in their showroom. And four licenses in the Fanuc Academy. And the Fanuc is here very close to us, it's close to Stuttgart. And we built really a very interesting building uh, academy, including showrooms, including hotel rooms. So if you want to do an event at the Fanuc Academy, the people can sleep directly in this building. We have hotel rooms and also restaurant in there. It's a really very nice thing what they do, have done here in Neuhausen. Yeah? And also next important thing is for you, four licenses we are using in Fanuc Europe. So we visited Fanuc Europe in Luxembourg and showed our software. We started there with one guy. And now this guy is also here in Neuhausen. Also some of his team of Fanuc Europe is in Neuhausen. And we have four licenses for, and, and using Solid, SolidWorks and SolidCamp. Okay, next things, some nice stories. Yeah, so for example, one nice story about DMG. We tried several times really to start a partnership with DMG. And um, the last try was, uh, we was here in big companies. That we had to get, of course, a customer of us and customer of DMG. For example, Striker here, a big medical industry. And uh, we wrote a post for a DMG machine. And the application engineers from DMG was also there. And the, the, the challenge there was we wanted to have the post processor with DMG structure programming. Yeah. And the application engineer, together with us, we wrote the post processor really how it works 100%. And the application engineer saw this, how we can handle, how we can write the post processor also for DMG structure. And we, this guy went back to his manager, to the technical manager in Stuttgart and said, look, we have to have a look to the software solid cam. We are writing posts for DMG structure is very good. And they invited us. We went where I was there, two technicians, a sales manager, and we started to show our software. And uh, always the technical managers asked this application engineer, is this right, what, what is coming out? And the application engineer said, yes, it's right. It's 100% correct what he's doing here, yeah? So really, we, for me, it was clear, OK, we will start now the relationship with DMG. But when this guy, this, this, this um, technical manager of his, of his technology center talked with his manager and he said no we will not start the relationship because we have four different softwares in our in our company we don't want to have one more and he said okay if you don't want that's okay and during amv the, the last exhibition here with technical manager came to our booth with a new employee and this employee worked a lot of years with solid camp and he told him, look, I worked with SolidCam. It was very good and it's a good software. We can do a lot of things with it. And after this, this technical manager talked again with his, with his manager and said, look, let's go in this direction. I have a new employee. And then, this is what he said to me, he agreed with it. He said, OK, let's start. And now, next month, we will have an appointment in, in, in Stuttgart. We will try again to start a relationship with DMG in Stuttgart. Yeah? So this is the story about DMG. Next thing is STAR. OK, I think most of you know STAR machines for Swiss type machines. The relation here is here in Tutlingen, we are a reseller for STAR machines, Harvey Microtech. And uh, we are here in the university. I will have later also a presentation there at 7 o'clock. So after we will finish here, I will move to there. I will have a presentation about how we are supporting uh, Swiss type machines, complex military machines. Because of that, I brought also STAR in, here inside because not directly with STAR, but we have a good relationship now with the, with the reseller of STAR. And I know, for example, from Gordon and Mark Stocks in UK, we have also a good relationship with STAR machines. Yeah. Makino also a nice story. Makino is using uh, NX cam, and I was also visiting there, and I showed solid cam and our, our our solutions, and it was really good. But we said, okay, look, we are using NX cam. We don't want to change. I said, okay, when you can use iMachining for NX cam, he said, okay, show it to me. We showed to them, and we cut parts on the machine, and he said, okay. It's a good software, we can start. Now, Makino here close to Stuttgart have uh, two licenses, iMachining for NX cam. Yeah. Bumotech is a very famous machine here in Tutlingen uh, for medical industry. It's a uh, part of the Starak group, 
Yeah, we have also very close to Tutlin in the technology center, and also these guys are working with our software with SolidWorks and SolidCam. We have technology center, roll-up of us, brochures of us. So it's a little bit marketing. Yeah, and of course we are helping them if they have a turnkey projects and so on. Yeah, Haas is also a nice story. Yeah, uh, you know Haas worked since years with another software company together, and um, but here. Again, close to our to our office here in Schramberg, we are Haas machines reseller. Yeah, two young guys, very motivated. Yeah, very, yeah, very motivated. And and, and we, these guys visited us in Schramberg. We talked with them, and they said, "Look, we don't want to work with another software. We know SolidCam. We want to work with SolidCam." And we said, "Okay, for us, it's not a problem. You can get software from us. You can work with it. No problem." So. Let's say after two years, these guys always talked with Haas and said, "Look, we are working with SolidCam. It's a good software. We are satisfied. We are getting we are getting good support from SolidCam." And the manager here started to talk with our sales manager, Dirk Klinger, and we said, "Okay, come on. We can also start maybe something with you." And we decide now to work only with premium partner. So, for example, for clamping, we want to get one partner. For tool clamping, we want to have one partner. For cooling, everything, one premium partner. And when I say we are, we want to work with SolidCam as a premium partner. If we sell our machines, we want to sell also SolidCam with it. So, after some talks and meetings with us and with, with these guys, the last time when Emil was also at AMB, we said, okay, come on, let's talk with these guys. And Emil is also beside of us. We can. Make the point on it, yeah. So we visited during the AMB with guys, with manager and with the technical manager of these guys, and when the end of was okay, let's start the, the the partnership, and we will start. We already we already started now, yeah. Haas factory outlet here in Germany will start to sell machine and also solid cam. We prepared some some uh, bundles, uh, some packages. For example, one package for two and a half D, one package for five axis milling, one package for Milton, and now again, yeah, Haas will also start to sell their machines with solid cam. Tool manufacturer. Okay, let's start to work a little to talk a little bit with tool manufacturer. I start with Hoffman because my personal partnership was with tool manufacturers was started with Hoffman, and if you guys visited or, or some of you visited AMO 2011 where we had with this Muga machine. It was a small but very dynamic machine and um, it was also the first time we started to cut apart and on the exhibition and this machine was so dynamic it was really incredible how fast it cut the parts yeah okay instead of a circle in the end we had a rectangular but for us was not important for us was all only important to cut fast yeah and once we, I, I prepared everything before the exhibition st started, I, I said, I said, okay, uh, I really now <laughs> want to destroy a tool. Yeah, I put a six millimeter tool inside. I went with I machining to level eight and turbo. I said, okay, this will, <laughs> because I want to see the limit. What is the limit here? Yeah? And it was really crazy. The machine jumped to the right and to the left, but the tool was still there and it was really crazy. We have really very good, very good tools, and with the machine we had done really one of the most impressive show on exhibition. Yeah. So now SolidCam in Germany have 19 licenses of SolidCam, and we had several events with Hoffman in our technology centers in in in, in Schramberg in Rosenheim. So we are inviting their customers. We are inviting customers. We show their solutions in tools. We are showing our solutions in software. It was really very professional events together with Hoffman. And of course, if we had exhibitions, also the last exhibition, AMB, we had really a very good prepared part. You said prepared an amazing demo part, yeah, in that we, we used Hoffman tools and Mapal tools. And for that, we got also tools from Hoffman for exhibition. It was really a great show. And uh, yeah, later on I will talk a little bit more about this cutting tool suite. So we got also cutting tools, and why we decide to go this way, I will I will tell you later. Yeah, and yeah, of course, if they had a event, for example, Orange Days, if somebody visited once 
orange days from Hoffman when he know what I mean. Yeah, it, it goes around, I think, three days, and more than 3,000 people are visiting this event. It was really always amazing, a big event, and always they had the machine, we was beside of the machine, we cut the part, had the roll up, and presentation. So, also, my friends of UK taught me that, but I will talk later about it again. Yeah, MAPAL is also a very nice story. MAPAL is also producing tools for other come for other tool tool vendors. Yeah. So because of that, they heard about us. We started 2011 with Hoffman cutting tools and another tool manufacturers. They said, okay, we should invite some come software manufacturer to make a benchmark. Yeah. So it was 2013, I know it because I was there, yeah? And we had this part, it was only a sketch and it was like a tree. So we had to cut inside the pocket and outside the contour. So I got this part, I said, okay, let's go. Let's, let's start to cut the part on the machine. He said, really, you want to cut now? I said, yes, of course, come on, give me the sketch. So we start, I got the sketch, I cut the part and the tool was okay and we cut, let's say in, in six minutes the part. I don't know exactly the time, but I think it was around about six minutes. And I said, hmm, I think we can cut it faster. And the people said, really? I said, yes, come on, let's just try one, one thing more. So we went again to the computer, we changed the values a little bit more, cut the part instead of six minutes, let's say five minutes or four and a half. And I said, maybe it will go faster, but I will stop now. I, don't, I will not broke the tool. So I know from this guy, other CAM software manufacturer came and we was really the most successful. At first, the fastest, we get the part, we get the sketch, cut the part on the machine, and the result was really very good, yeah. So we started the relationship after that with MAPAL, and now MAPAL have 13 licenses of SolidCAM. Five licenses we are using also for, for the application engineers and showroom, we have a showroom here, and also a machine with a roll-up of fast process of us. Again, the same story. And interesting thing is also we are use, we have eight licenses we use in uh, R&D and retooling, yeah, not only for the application engineers. And also here, I told you now, we had at the last exhibition, we, we cut really a, a, an amazing part and we used only uh, Hikadi, for example, I don't know what is in English, but diamond inside with tools, very expensive tools, yeah? And we got it for free and it was really an amazing show, yeah? And also we got different cutting tool suites from this company. And maybe some of you know, some not, but uh, good to know, I think, I, I think is uh, now Foha Tosek is also a tool manufacturer. We are doing uh, ant mill tools and MAPAL decide now to go more and more in molded dye industry. Yes, and then Foha Tosek is doing good uh, ant mill tools. So we bought now Foha Tosek and we are using also Foha Tosek tools to sell. Yeah, only for information. Yeah, next point is Guring. Yeah, so Guring now in Germany have also 20 licenses of SolidCAM. Uh, we also, we had several events and here I have to say something. You should know, of course, maybe you know, but business is always made between humans. Yeah, so for example, if I say to you now, okay, we will be started with relationship in Germany, it will 100% work also in, I don't know, in another company, another country. It's always made in, between humans also in Germany. For example, in some areas, for example, let's say in North Germany, we are, we are working closer together. In South Germany, not so close. In, in East Germany, also different. So if I tell you here, for example, okay, we are working closely or not so close, it not means you cannot work close in your country, yeah? But okay, let's go further. We, um, the next thing, of course, if we had uh, exhibitions, we got tools from Guring. And also here we got cutting tool suites and uh, we hold presentation. If they had events in warehouse, we, we invited us and we made presentations about our software, I machining and so on. <sighs> Next point, Iskar. Yeah, Iskar is of course not a new relationship, but, but 
at the uh, AMB 2014, we got a new uh, technical manager and uh, let's say also partner manager. This guy, in my, this guy visited us at the exhibition. And after that, really, we started again to, to, to work closer with Iskar. And they have also a technology center. They had also events. They invited us in some events. Gusel went there, hold presentations. And also, I think the last time was Vitaly there. And again, yeah events and we got also a very nice cutting tool suite i will show you later a picture of it and after that we started again a good relationship with iskar here and also one once a manager from israel was here visited iskar and uh, this guy tom came with his manager to our company and showed our company and so on it was really nice uh Imuge franken is also here in bavaria in Franken, the name is because of that, is the name Franken, yeah? Uh, you know, you know these tools maybe because of the circle segment tools, yeah? We pushed us really a lot to put this in our software because we started with another come software manufacturer with marketing and cutting tools. And also, for example, Hamlet came to us and said, look, we are using uh, these tools from Mugi Franken, but we cannot use SolidCam. Yeah? And because of that, we pushed also our development team, thanks to Gennady and his team. Yeah? In the next uh, release, we will really support all kinds of these tools. And, it's, uh, and we used it also before. Before it was in the software, but it was a little bit tricky, yeah. Yeah, my Kestak is a tool manufacturer. It's in, in, it's in Austria. They are specialized for uh, cutting length five times diameter and so on. And in Bavaria, our team in Bavaria is working very closely to it. This relationship sh started also because Alsmetal, Alsmetal is our technology partner, is working together with Mike Kestak. And because of that, we started also a relationship with Mike Kestak. Yeah? In Bavaria, we had some events together with Mike Kestak and maybe Siemens, for example, workshops to show our software, to show the tools. Han and Kolb is a big reseller of tools and other things. Yeah, And uh, since I don't know, but I think since one year we are selling also video tools here in Germany. We started also a relationship with them. Uh, Walter, also a nice story about Walter. Walter heard also about this special trochoidal cutting strategy. It was years ago, and we decided also to go in this direction. We invited uh, different com com manufacturer, and we was also there, and three or five different also. And uh, they said, okay, let's talk about here. You get the geometry, cut on the machine. And here I should say, in, in the end of, of, of all these projects, we was not the fastest. Some was faster with us, but the tool life was not so good. Some was slower than us, but the tool life was better. We started here a relationship with Walter because as I told you before, business made by humans. I think we was so sympathetic to these guys. Yeah, we we was always open, and then we didn't say, okay, we are the best and the fastest. We are, we really was realistic. Talked with the guys, helped them, and after that, we started as a relationship, a partnership with us. They invited us for their events. We hold presentations, and also in technology center here in Tübingen. We had also nice events together with Walter. Video, I told before, it's now a part, not a part, but Han and Cole is selling also video tools. And with video, we had several tests in our technology center. Really, a lot of tests on our hamlet. We came with tools, we cut eye machining, tried, get the results, and it was also very good. Stock, I think not so many people know what is stock, but I put it here inside because we had also a talk at AMB and the guys was in our booth and said, look, next year is AMO and we will have a machine at AMO and we want to cut parts, but you sh can you help us to, cut, to prepare everything, cut the part? We said, of course, why not? So here you can see next thing, if somebody have a machine on their booth, on their exhibition, so you should start also to talk with these guys. Of course, we will put their roll up, brochures, and so on, marketing for us. Yes, here you can see this uh, cutting tool suite yeah, from different tool manufacturer. We started with this to get tools from manufacturer because we really, in the start of, of, of selling iMachining, 
we went to the customers. Of course, we started to cut the part as fast as possible, and we had bad tools. Yeah, and I said, "Come on, why is this the limit? Let us talk with some tool manufacturer. Let's at first let's do some tests in our technology center, and uh, look which tools are working good with our machining, and then try to get tool cutting tool suits." So when we started to talk with some and we got really some cutting tool suits to go to the customer or to the prospect if the tool if his tool is not good to say okay look this was okay but can we try with another tool it will be better yeah this was the start why we talked with these guys to get the cutting tool suits okay next point control the manufacturer of course we work with more, but I put only two of them because in the end it's the same result. Yeah. Uh, let's start with Siemens. Siemens in Germany. So at first we are working with them together, of course, because we are customer. Our Altsmetall machine in Rosenheim have also a Siemens controller. Yeah. And uh, because of that, we had some events also together with Siemens. So Siemens invited their customers. We invited customers. Made some events together. And yeah, this is what I told. Events in our technology center with Siemens. But also very important for us was to holding this relationship for post-processing. Yeah. So we got this uh, this tool, this software Sino train. We we uh, we it was possible for us to test directly on the on, on the laptop. So we had the controller on our laptop. We could uh, generate. The G code put in Sinotrain and, and check the result. Because of that, it helped us a lot, really. And also with documentation, we have a, a doc on CD, it's called. You can install it on your computer. You have a PDF file. You can search for, 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 for M functionalities, G functionalities, and so on. And for sure, training. We got training from Siemens. Siemens, of course, got training from us. Yeah. Similar thing at Heidenheim. Heidenheim have uh, six licenses of SolidCam. And also here was, uh, if Heidenheim had an event with their customers, they invited us and we made presentations. It was really very professional events and also the presentations was very good from both sides. Yeah. And this, on the other side, the same thing for post-processing. Yeah, we got also this uh, programming tool from Heidenheim. We could uh, generate the G-code check on the, on the software tool. And again, we got trading. Not Siemens, Heidenheim. Uh, next point, okay, clamping. On one side, as I told, we have the clamping for tools. On other side, we have clamping for parts. Because as we as we started to cut very fast on the machines and we saw, okay, now we have the tools, it's working good, but the holders are not so good. So what to do? We need all the good holders. So in that time, we started to talk also with holder manufacturer and, and started some tests in our technology center. and. We said, okay, if you need the best solution, yeah, the fastest solution, so you need a good tool, you need a good tool holder, you need a good part holder, and you need a dynamic machine. Yeah, so we delete all limitations <laughs> to get the fastest solution. Yeah. Others are you can see here some um, data management software, um, some G code simulator, and also solar. You can see solar here because solar pushed us really a lot in the last years because they have a lot of customers we are using SolidCam. Yeah? And we said, okay, more and more customers of us using SolidCam, we need, we need a solution of it. Yeah? And also here again, thanks to our team in development, we have now really a good solution and, and interface for the solar software. Yeah. Okay, let's go further to partnerships. Some words to partnerships. Normally, this picture is showing everything. What is important in a partnership? To give, to work hand in hand and in the eye, eye to eye, yeah? So what I mean is, if you are in a partnership, it's important each partner have a benefit of this partnership. If only from one side is always coming something, this will not work, yeah? From both, both sides must have a benefit of this partnership yeah on one side it can be so for example change software hardware but this means 
not to give software and let him do what he wants. This means also to support with, with partners, to give software, you get hardware, but sometimes to, to help them in turnkey projects, to help them uh, how to handle this software, to be always in touch with these partners. Yeah? To do joint events, as I told before, in, if you have a technology center, you can do it in your technology center, but you can do it also in schools, in, in, in some customers, or directly at uh, these manufacturers. Uh, as I told you before, tools uh, suite cases, we got to tool suite cases of this, of this uh, tool manufacturer, and what it was important for us to give something back. Yeah, we will ask them, okay, you get the tools for thousands of euros, what you are doing with it. So we decide to say, okay, let's do reports. If you are cutting apart on all this customer, do a report and ask the customer, can we forward this report to the tool manufacturer and he will contact you. So it was a win-win situation for everybody. It was a win situation for the customer because we got a good result. It was for us because we have the good tools to cut the part. And of course, for the tool manufacturer, he have uh, one more lead. Okay, let's go to next levels. So we have in Germany three different levels yeah, of partners. Yeah, The first level is, for example, if a partner is using our self to software for manufacturing their own parts. Yeah, we are using really for cutting their holders or cutting their machines, as I told you before. Yeah, so when we say, okay, this customer, because they are making money with our software, should buy the software. Yeah, but we are getting a special discount price and we don't have to pay the whole price. We get a special discount price, but we should buy the software because we are making money with the software. The second level is, I told it service. For example, I know from some, some tool manufacturers or from some uh, machine tool manufacturers, we have uh, turnkey projects. We are selling the G code. For example, we get parts from firmware customers. We are doing, we are, we are programming the part with SolidCam and we sell the G code. And it's the same, not the same, but similar thing. We are doing money with our software. And in this case, we decide to say, okay, these customers should pay only maintenance, not to buy the software, because it's also a little bit marketing for us. If we generate a G code, give this to his customer. If the customer is asking with which software you may have done this, he will say SolidCam. So in this case, we decide to say, okay, only maintenance, also uh, less price, of course, but he should pay the maintenance. And the right side, you see the picture to keep everything running. Yeah. Level three is, if a customer, not a customer, if a, if a partner, yeah, have, for example, showrooms or technology centers. So in where we are the machine, where is a roll up here, where, where are brochures of us, uh, maybe a, a magnetic sign on the machine cut by solid cam. When we say, okay, we, we, he's really doing direct marketing also for us. He can get the software for free yeah, for, for this technology center or this showroom. Yeah. yeah. So as I told you before, I talked also with Ken about how is he is handling these things in the US. Yeah. And he sent me an email. It was a very long email. I will keep it very short. Yeah. And I hope I tell everything right. Ken, if it's something wrong, please correct me. But after the webinar, you can send me an email. But I hope I will explain in the right way. So the first is uh, we, he called it BAP agreement. It's business alliance partner agreement. Normally very easy, how I understood is general alignment, alignment, uh, both partners agree to work together. Yeah, but I like the next thing, what he wrote, yeah, he said, for the mutual benefit of each path, each other. This is what I told you before, what is important in a partnership. Yeah, both partners have to have a benefit of it. Yeah. Next thing is, okay, very easy. Uh, a classic NDA, yeah, you can do NDA yeah, to protect your typical IP, yeah. Next is um, OEM distribution partner. It's similar to that, what I talked before, what we are doing here in Germany, it's selling SolidCam as a part of a turnkey product. If I understood it right, is for example, I said machine manufacturer, Grove or Altmetall can sell the machine and directly we can sell also SolidCam with it, yeah. And the next was this easy sell agreement. Yeah, uh, I understood it's 
similar to what we are doing here is like a tip provider. So these companies introducing us to prospects. So they, uh, if they're selling their machines or they're selling their tools, they say, okay, look, if you need software, have a look on SolidCam. So and if you, and everything is handled by ourselves. We are doing the demo, we are doing the installation, we are doing the training, everything is uh, handled by ourselves. Because of that, we are telling, we are, we are calling it tip provider in Germany, but it's very similar, I think. So thanks, Ken, for this information. I hope I explained everything well. So let's go to the last point. How to get new partners. So first of all, I should, I must say to you, I don't mean these partnerships. These partnerships, I think you should look for yourself. Maybe we can help you, but it's better when you do it by yourself to get these partners. We are talking about these partnerships, business partnerships. Yeah. If we can help you, we will try, of course, to get new partners and how to get. So let's look also to some real life examples in the US also information from Ken. Thank you. And uh, one of them was Hamley. I told you in the start of my presentation. Is a very strong relationship here in Germany. And Emil told Ken and said to him, look, in Germany, we have a good relationship with Hamley. Go to Hamley, US, and talk with these guys. Yeah. And this was what Ken had done in the US. He went directly to Hamley and talked to, to the guys. And when he they invited our team in US to well, use the group event, they said, OK, we have your events. We'll go to the machine, cut the part, and we will see the results. And as we are in the whole world, we are cutting very fast. So our team went to there and we cut uh, aggressive eye machining and five weeks simultaneous part on C45. And after that, also in US, we started a relationship. And as I understood, we have now four licenses of SolidCam in US. Next example is Gearing. Uh, here was the opposite side at uh, IMTS went uh, an employee from Göring to the to our booth and uh, contact Ken yeah um, because he saw not because but he saw also during the exhibition Ken is cutting apart on a small desktop CNC machine with i machine it was really impressed him yeah and he said also look the the, the german colleagues told him we have a good contact in germany so he go to solidcam us and talk with these guys so when the relationship started also in the US and uh, Ken made some uh, webinars and used with the Gearing tools, with Diver tools, I think RF100, I don't know, Diver, Diver tools, yeah? And he used these tools for the webinars. Uh, next thing, Mapal, I said also, I told you the story from Mapal, yeah? Uh, yeah. Here also opposite side can receive the call from a Mapal employee and this guy said oh, look in Germany someone his name is Becker I know this guy. Yeah, of course, and he said okay his manager told him to contact SolidCam US and This relationship started also in the US as I understood it can used also with Mapal tools at IMTS this year with optimal tools. I use it also a lot of time here in Germany. We are really very good tools with a chip breaker, with a three times diameter cutting length, really very good tools. And so he started also a relationship in the US. One example in the UK, I uh, told also before a little bit. So what Gordon, on this side, thank you for the information. Yeah, uh, what he told me, he has, he has a very good relationship to Hoffman in the UK. So, and uh, if they had the uh, orange days, we attend also and they had hold presentations and so on. And as I told you, if somebody was in one orange days, he knows what I mean. Really thousands of people there and a big and huge event. It's really amazing. And of course, our team in UK have also a technology center. We are getting tools from uh, Hoffman to our technology center. Haima, I also a very good holder system. Yeah, also good for high machining if you need a stable uh, tool holder. But um, also Haima is doing now cutting tools, not only holder. Maybe good information for some one of you. Uh, what uh, Gordon told me, very good relationship to ha Haima. An interesting thing here is, here is Haima have a, has a good relationship to Romi machines. And I know our team in UK have also a good relationship to Romi. And in this case, you see, if 
you have a partner, uh, your partner have a partner. So now you can start also with this network, yeah, because you know, this business network together with different kind of machine manufacturer, tool manufacturer, and so on. And here also, we are supplying tool holders, not tools, tool holders for our technology center. And also tools, maybe I, I told. We are doing also tools, Heimer. Again, one Shunk, yeah. Gordon spoke directly with Shunk in UK. Yeah, also collaboration with Romy machines. And uh, we are supplying now also work holding for our technology center in UK. On this stage, thank you, Gordon, for the information. So we slowly we are coming to the end of our webinar. Next point is, of course, exhibitions. You can see some, here some pictures from our last exhibition, A and B. And it's really very, if you go to exhibition, it's very important to have a machine there. And not only machine, you should make moderation. You should talk what is going on in the machine, which part you are cutting, which tools you are using. You don't have to make a, a big show and something like that. Only cut the part, make a good cutting part, yeah? Really good show and talk to them. Talk, explain to the people, and always the people will stay and look what you are doing there. And you can see here some pictures. Always, if we started uh, uh, cutting and with moderation, the people stay and look to our cutting. And one of the last things is the parties. Yeah, okay, I, I was thinking about should I put it inside in my webinar or not, but really. It's also important to having parties in the exhibitions. In the, in the last years or in the beginning of SolidCam or five, six years ago, we said, okay, should we do a party or not? But we saw always when we are doing a party, we are starting a new relationship. In our parties, we are, we are talking, for example, with the sales manager of the technology partner, with the technical manager, and we started really to get new technology partners. And we decide, okay, now in every exhibition we are doing party of course party is also good to having fun but it's also good to having good relationship with the technology partners one video is made by myself Okay, the quality is not so the best because it was made with my with my iPhone, but iPhone is quality good, but import to is crazy uh, was not so good. But important thing for you to know is look here is staying the, the in the middle is are staying the people from group. On the right side was the technical manager of Emuge Franken. On the other side was the sales guy from Haas and also at, at this exhibition we had done really a good party and the uh, next day when the exhibition started, everybody was on the booth, started to work, and the, the guy and I got a message from the from a sales guy of a machine manufacturer. He said to me, Hey Baker, thank you for the great party. And the more important thing is next morning everybody was in the booth and made business. And of course, this is the important thing. You should not do a party and, and be too drunk and uh, do nothing. Next day is again work, yeah? make the party. Try to get new relationships. And next day, everybody must be on the booth, must be work. Yeah? And OK, if you guys know me, and um, I, think, I was thinking about, OK, how, what should be my last slide? Yeah? And uh, the people who joined our SolidCam conference will know it, but I was thinking, okay, the last slide should be motivation for all of you. Enjoy. <laughs>
Okay, back here for, uh, unfortunately, there's some kind of, um, technical problem because we can't hear him. Uh, oh, it's going in, it's okay. going in splits, but uh, I, I do remember that particular slide that you said okay. that you showed us at the show, and it really was hysterical. Uh, okay, so I will send this video to everybody because it was really a very good motivation video for everybody. Okay, Sydney, thank you for the information. Yeah. I hope uh, I give important information for everybody. And um, if you have questions, maybe Sydney, let us do like that. If, if, if somebody had questions, send the questions to me and we will answer it to the people as email. It's okay. okay. Right now, I just have one question over here that was written down. Um, yeah. I think you answered it, but just to make sure, they, there was a question that was asked, uh, do you sell SolidCam licenses for uh, internal use? Uh, to tool manufacturers, or do you give it to them free of charge? Yeah, this was one of the slides I showed with three right, levels. I remember that. Yeah, I have, we have three levels. Some of them are getting free, some of them are paying maintenance, and some, some of them buying. It depends what we, ha what we are doing with our software. Yeah. Okay, Beck here, thank you very, very much for the webinar. It was really, really informative and really good to see uh, how successful you can be with uh, all these different partners, uh, really, really nice. Uh, again, if anyone has questions that you still want to ask, just write them in, uh, and uh, we'll I'll send them over to Beckier, and uh, he'll answer any questions you may have, or you can write directly to Beckier as well. Okay, everyone, yes, thank you very much. This has been recorded, by the way, uh, so this will be available again later on on our website in the reseller area. So everyone have a great weekend, and we will see you again. Uh, we will see you again in our next webinar. And by the way, it was very inspiring. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you all. The good morning to US, and good evening to our Asia Pacific friends. And have a nice day. And goodbye. All right, bye bye.